Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the Click PLC High Speed Counter Input Filter Pulse Mode. And up on my screen, what you'll see is my uh, Dart Magnetic Pickup. And it actually will connect into a motor shaft um, using just straight screw. And it'll actually pick up the turning of that motor. So that's what the Magnetic Pickup is for. Looking at the wiring diagram, here is my common C1 of my click, which is click to click to my plus voltage. And my X1 is my signal or my output from my dart. Then you'll have uh, two more wires from the dart, the power, which is connected to the plus voltage, which is the red wire. And then my, we have my zero volts, which is the black wire of the dart connected. Now, detailed information in, in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been provided has been provided in the description below. If you've not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video number one. There will be also links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So that is my connection to my Dart. And if I look at my uh, PLC program or in software for my Click, now it must be software version 2.30 or higher to be used in the high speed um, count mode of your Ethernet unit. So um, there's a couple ways of which to call up the high speed counter. You can see my high speed input uh, counter can be called up here. If I look under function of the navigation, you will see that I have my high speed counter input set up here, in which I also have my filter that you can see I've already pre assigned. If we also go into setup, you'll also see the high speed input here. So when we do, uh, go into the high speed setup, you will see that we have the high speed input configuration window that now will open up. And here is where we actually configure all of the high speed uh, inputs themselves. So under this last one here, you'll see the filter. So what it will do is filter out all these short pulses coming in and only look at the longer pulse itself. So if we were to actually look at the setup, we'll hit edit, and here is my setup screen here. So what we're saying is that my input signal is coming in here and then it will filter out um, based on the filter duration that we want on X1. So I've chosen X1 to use and my nickname is filter input. My filter I've set for the maximum which is 99 milliseconds. So about a pulse uh, 10 pulses every second that I want to bring in. So we'll just hit OK. So that means that any pulse that are this lower than um, a duration, so length of time on 99 milliseconds will not be shown onto the actual unit itself or into the PLC program. So we'll hit OK. So that is my setup and then if we look at my um, so that will just hit OK. So if I look at my actual uh, program itself under my main, you'll see that my filter input and then I have my math function. So I'm just hitting or adding one to DD1 and storing at DD1. So that is my entire uh, program. You'll see that as long as that input is more than 99 milliseconds long, it will add the one. If it's less, so I go too fast, it won't add at all. So let's download this program and we'll say OK. We'll proceed with the runtime download. There we go. So now we are, um, we have the latest uh, software. Now looking at the um, hardware that we have, we can see that we're connected through our ethernet port located right here on our click. And this is my magnetic pickup that provides pulses uh, into my input, which is X1, which is on that white wire from the magnetic pick pickup. Then we have our blue wire, which is uh, which is the common C1, which is connected to my plus 24 volt DC, which is also connected to my red wire of my magnetic pickup for the supply of the magnetic pickup. Then we have our, our black wire, which connects to the zero volts uh, 
of the DC power supply. So that is my wiring diagram that we've discussed earlier. So you'll see that as I turn my um, pot, you can see that if I count one, then I count two, I can count three, and you can set, etc. And I'm going very slowly. If I go quickly, you'll see that it may only count just a couple of pulses because the pulse duration is not that, that much. So, slowly, no problem, I can see it picking up. Going fast and it doesn't. So we can actually see that also on our data view. We'll call that up here. And there's my current value of 12. So again, slowly, we can um, increase it. If I go too quickly, right, it does not pick it up because I'm going too quickly. Even though I see my pulses actually coming in on my input right at the top here. So you can see those pulses coming in. If I'm going very quickly, we're not picking it up very much. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have other questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. And if you want more information about us or you want to get our two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.